Such shinobis welcome back to the void. Something has me. Wards. Uh oh. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Probably because of all the wards, man. The wards work well enough. You don't oh. need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. What an idiot. The hell is that? Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Okay, baby. Hey, I will say, smart dude. He did all this so he can traverse the lands. You gotta hand it to him. What the? Creepy hideout. Yeah, my boy's got a the whole setup in here. What the hell is this? What is this thing? Vanisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. Uh-oh. So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. So... You... Do you not have a way back? Originally, I was searching for the source of the poisoning. I may have overestimated my talents. Still, an amazing place to be stuck in, no? No. Tell me, no, it's not. How did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? No, I'm just like that, bro. Don't change the subject. You fought it. Of course you did. A good thing, too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell. And I'm a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. <laughs> what are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Oh, dangerous to have a very curious mind like that. Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where? I ask myself, where? We gotta let him know that if he don't cut the you shit or at least come to, to, to his dad, Blackie shit's gonna hit the fan. Speechifying about your transcendent journey. Your life is on the line, Lammy. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. <sighs> Imagine your father saying that. <laughs> when I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demon Ah, okay, so he did you. teach you. He saw me as his heir. Then of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. Yeah, I mean, you're just wanting to continue the studies. And especially if it caught his attention because in the very beginning we ran into some occultists that tried to do rituals but they ended up botching it he's at least trying to understand how it works to the point where he can actually use it irl he kind of messed up with the ritual of bringing back somebody but i mean he was translating it from a different language you know from the looks of this place you're knee deep in research what are you doing here exactly Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. 
Go on then. Now at first I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Where is your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance of strange ooze. You may have noticed it. Oh this, yeah, definitely. I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink. On the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. Huh. So it's almost like a paralysis kind of thing? I felt my movement slowing. My thinking too. Space seemed to thicken. But wait. What if? What if it was not space thickening, but time slowing? In recent months, many in New Eden have spoken of similar feelings. Of lost time. Hours untrackable. Days passing unremembered. Who knows how the Aralu disturbs the minds and bodies of women and men? Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. The hell is that? I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? <laughs> no, man. You need to stop this shit. I need a wee bit of help here. Yes. Oh. I can take it. Oh, yeah. She's just flying through this shit. I mean, technically, he's not the witch, right? He's just using his knowledge to figure out the actual source of it all. It oozes through the breach. Separates like a festering wound. I wonder if this is how the nightmare spreads itself. Who goes there? What the? Is that a ghost? I don't know. That was the ooze. This has suddenly turned into Luigi's Mansion 3. What? Innocence. Oh huh? shite. Did you did you just say shite? <laughs> bigger than I thought it would be. Holy a house from the harrows. We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. Okay, and the woman being astonished thereat confessed those things to be true, and that she and other persons named in this pre preternatural discourse had familiarity with the devil. Being asked whether she had made an express covenant with him, she answered she had not, only as she promised to go with him when he called, which accordingly she had sundry times done. Is that about Dorothy? And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. <laughs> That's fucked. By the ooze. Obviously. Look around you. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you <gasps> read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well. A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe. What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Which? Oh. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. This is all connecting. So she initially was trying to figure out 
what happened in the first place with the first epidemic. Nobody believed her. But it came back a second time, full force, and now it's like, all right, well, this this can't be a coincidence. Let's get the banishers. That is crazy, dude. If only they believed her the first time, dude. All of this literally could have been prevented. Another shadow. What do they want? Red, something is keeping me from manifesting. I see you, baby. Was Deborah their daughter? Expect this is an old Golly. Yeah, she got annihilated. At least her first form. Haskell and his town flock are here, fled from their homes. We have room for all in the Harrows. There's a mold on the wall near the front door. I shall scrape it off. The mold has turned sticky, black, and oozes between the boards. Crops such as they were have failed. The governor and his band of weak-hearted souls have brought the curse with them. May the Lord deliver us. Oh, wait, so this was recent so the first one was seven years ago and then haskell came in and started putting around the witch wards put it on their house they took it down that's probably why it was just their house that ended up caving in clemency gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch come from new eden time with the governor that's not what deborah was saying the gibbs are not at home to rational explanations those echoes were here the shadow speaks they always appear near the ooze. So the whispers. But which came first? But they, they had to have come after. This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. <laughs> Why <is it laughs> poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Yeah, making it unstill. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. <laughs> This whole country is rotten to the core. <laughs> and you're just now reaching this conclusion. If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Oh. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Oh, is that who's making them angry? Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. <gasps> we can't even switch to her. His hat. This is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye, many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye. And many want to see her dead. Oh, this Mr. Gibbs, huh? You'll get it next get time. out of here, you feckin' bozo. The ooze reacted to our presence. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. Mm -hmm. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. We so they were so angry at each other that they... Oh, we can't go this way? We can't leave yet. Ah, I want to rest. This is it. This is the source. Oh boy. I mean, it would also make sense that they made it because they didn't like Haskell. So in order to drive him Something out, tells me might as well poison all his well. people, right? The devil still breathes through her mouth. We are cursed and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? Dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Then do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The Earth took the Gibbs house. Perhaps he thought he was a target too. The Gibbs had a hand in rigging the witch trial, but he was the one who sealed it. 
That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. So it was all just to cover his own ass for being a demonologist? Oh, man. Oh, boy, do we want to go down there just yet? Ah, uh, well, we have to. All right. Hello? What the hell is that? Is that a knife? No, it's a pen. Oh, this can't even be good. Oh, boy. That baby, this is a lot. What the f Who are you? Who are you? If we speak, so you listen. What the hell? How do y'all know that? Damn it, this is a mistrial. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, this is fire. Uh, I'm not a witch hunter. I am no witch hunter. Never was. Oh. What just. Is that me? Oh, shit, it is us. Yo, this is sick. I'm about to kick my own ass. Well, one down, two to go. Kiss my ass. I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. Uh, we drink this so we can get this and then boom. So now who you gonna put on trial, huh? Well, now, wait a minute. This is where you're definitely we wrong because we've help been helping. Them, not cast them. Magic is only oh, okay. This is like a damn fucking... The, the big and skinny dude from the damn Elden Ring. Okay, and then we switch and then boom. That was nowhere near enough. But that worked out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I shot myself in the nuts. Oh, I got to pop this. No, 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 no. Pop it, pop it, pop it. There you go. All right, red is done. The shadow's got its strength back. Don't let the ooze get back to what the shadow. Oh. No, 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 no. You. There, that one's dead. Get his ass, baby. Or get your own ass. I don't know.
judgment. The guilty are known. Now justice is ours. Sup, Shinobis, it's me from the future, but also the present. You know how this shit go. I was a dummy and uh, did not record for like the past 30-ish minutes as far as audio, like mine. So instead of doing like the classic, oh, nobody's looking so I can go back and re-record it bullshit, I'm just going to give it to you Enough. straight. Honestly, the best boss fight so far. It was so good. The way it was all like scripted and each one had to go ahead and face their... I don't, I don't know, subconscious, I guess. It was some Luigi Mansion, Kingdom Hearts type shit. It's no surprise. Every, pretty much everybody of New Eden was a dickhead. Haskell was the head of the dickheads. We also got some sick-ass drip. After that, we make our way back to Haskell's cult. This is how that went. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell. While piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet, in his name, they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Aye. There's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a woman, a teacher, living peaceably among friends, until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said. And you must save us, or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them. But he could give them a witch. The train band captain shackled the schoolteacher and locked her away. She would confess, or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. You're a pompous coward. Fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. 
This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was, then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal. Truth unspoken. Secrets and lies. Wrongs, basically. Your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say, you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't even believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt, your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumble. Yet still, you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. Laugh. Can't be oh, that don't. him. <laughs> My son, a witch. Oh, you mock us, sir. Present proof or retract your ridiculous accusation. Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library, the Forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lamy. Who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead? I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame! The boy was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound. And his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? In evil times, have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? Have faith. The banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, banisher. Paid in consideration of a curse lifted, all rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. I feel bad that we kind of had to out Lammy because 
he did mean well, but he was just playing stupid. This was like playing with fire that was on fire in a forest full of like bush he was just walking into some things that he should have not walked into overall though just as it served because haskell get what he deserves he's outed as a fucking fraud a dickhead a liar a sham and then we run into some lady troubles oh no what did ceridian say when we first met her once we'd weakened the nightmare's influence we could use the void to enter its lair deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished we'll return to ceridian's island from there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? They know no better. They know only fear and hate what they cannot understand. Especially when a woman is involved. It matters not now anyway. A woman died for nothing and it matters not? That's not what I meant. But the lassie is dead. All we can do now is try to give her her rest. Perhaps she does not want to rest. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. No, I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner we'll be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered, or what we have achieved, or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <sighs> Good night. Mantea. Mantea. 
I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island. Believe me, I get it. She's tired. She's kind of been forced to be by our sides. Not really, because, like, Red isn't really holding her here. The fact that she's feeding off of other people's essence is what's keeping her here, so she could leave at any time. And after all that, we're now here. Well, y'all are caught up now. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the end. But we can't use Antea. Like, let me let me try and fast travel. Yep, nope. Going through the void is locked. I'm going to assume fast traveling is locked. Okay, so we'll end it off here then. And the next episode, we'll dive in and see what happens. I think so. I think that's the better of the two moves. Because I want to finish everything that we possibly can before going in there. Because I do want the best ending that we possibly can. And... I mean, it said we have to have to send as many ghosts as we possibly can. So, you know, better safe than sorry. Till then, though, hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Sub, click the bell icon, follow me, and totally let me see in the comments all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.